to me. I just want to deliver some good news uh, along with Dr. Carson and everyone on the panel. You know, oftentimes you don't hear about the work of Opportunity Zones, but the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act that the President signed into law in 2017 created the Opportunity Zone Initiative. And the President created the Opportunity Zone Council. And that council was made up to take 18 agencies, 15 federal and three state and regional partners, and move in a singular motion to direct resources into our most distressed, vulnerable, forgotten communities. And with this, and that is, it's a tremendous time. And so our agencies on the council direct these uh, uh, resources. We found 270 action items to go directly into distressed communities to help the vulnerable people of America. And we've built tremendous coalitions, partnerships on the ground. We've been to over 60 cities. I've been to every one of them over the last year to visit people on the ground, education leaders, faith leaders, community leaders, business leaders, elected officials, Democrat and Republican. See, the thing about poverty, it doesn't care what party you are. The thing about revitalization, it doesn't care what party you are. We're coming together as a people for the good of the community. And oftentimes you may not hear about this, but we sit and convene in such as this with all of these stakeholders at one table to have the hard conversations. What is the pain of the community? Why is the community distressed? And what can we do together, both black and white, Democrat and Republican, come together for the good of this community, for long-term sustainability, for generational impact? And because of that, because of these partnerships, because of this collaboration together, and many people all at this table have been working together to bring about generational impact. So long after we're gone and history tells the story, the Opportunity Zones is more than just a program. It's more than just a concept. It is a mission that is to outlast all of us. And I tell you that as you're here, because a lot of times people see a government program as just a check the box. This is not a government program. This is built from the grassroots, from the bottom up, to affect the people in America. And lastly, Mr. President, I would say tens of billions of dollars have been invested inside of Opportunity Zones, public-private partnerships. Erie, Pennsylvania, St. Louis, Missouri, West Dallas, right here in my great home state of Texas and other across the, the nation, much money coming into our distressed communities. And I say all that to say, even though you don't hear about it often, we have put our hand to the plow and our feet to the ground. And all of these things were done prior to COVID. But I want you to know that right now, and post-COVID, that our spirit remains the same, that our heart is set, our face is set like flint, our mission is not done. But we're going to need all of you to pray for us, to walk with us, to convene with us, to invest, to teach. And so, Mr. President, thank you. Dr. Carson, thank you. And to all of my colleagues at the table, thank you for your support. It's been a great honor.